Hello, in this video, let's learn how to solve for x in x to the power of x equal to 48. We are asked to find the value of x. To solve this expression, we'll look at looking uh, or taking the logarithm of both sides, or we take the natural log of both sides. I prefer working with the with a log rhythm. So let's take the log of both sides. If we take the log of both sides, we'll have the log of eight to the power of x equal to the log of forty-eight. Great. Now, having seen this, we'll see that the value of x We'll come over here and then we'll have x multiplying the log of 8 and this will be equal to the log of 48 can be divided into two factors and such factors can be 8 and 6 so 8 multiplied by 6 will give us the factors of 48 so having seen this we can expand this if we expand this we're going to divide both sides by eight by log of eight if we divide both sides by log of eight we'll be able to uh, simplify uh, to the extent that we'll have the value of eight on the left hand side log of eight Divide both sides by log of 8. Having done that, this will have to clear out this. And then in the next stage, we will now have the value of our x to be equal to the log of 8 multiplied by 6. And this will be divided by the log of 8. Great. Now in the next stage or the next step well, we will find out that there is a law of logarithm that says the log of a multiplied by b can be equal to the log of a plus the log of b right so if we have that and apply it to the numerator that x that value will now give us x equal to the log of 8 plus the log of 6 and all of these will be divided by the log of 8. Good. Now in the next step, we'll simplify this. If we simplify that, we'll have the value of our x to be equal to the log of 8 divided by the log of 8 we can expand that or break that up and this will be plus the log of 6 can be separated to each factor to so give us 2 multiplied by 3 right and this can give us divided by the log of 8 good so from this we'll find out that the log of 8 will clear the log of 8 to make that expression to be equal to 1. So the value of our x will be equal to 1 plus the log of 2 multiplied by 3 divided by the log of. This can also be 2 to the power of what? 3. And that will give us it good now in the next step we have to simplify this we'll have the value of our x to be equal to one plus considering that law of logarithm this is going to give us the log of two plus the log of multiplication of logarithm three right and all of these will be divided by three will come over to multiply that log and that will give us 3 log uh, 2 right so we can simplify that expression to give us the value of our x to be equal to 1 plus log of 2 
divided by 3 log of 2 plus log of 3 divided by 3 log of 2 right so if we simplify that we will now have that expression to give us the log of 2 will cancel out the log of 2 and then we'll have that expression to now give us the value of our x equal to 1 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 3 log of 3 divided by the log of 2. From this expression, 1 plus 1 divided by 3, if you use your common law of log root of LCM, that is going to give us 4 divided by 3, right? And then we'll have plus 1 divided by 3 log of 3 divided by log of 2. From that log expression, what we're going to do is to consider a law of logarithm. From that law of logarithm, we are told that if we have the log of A divided by the log of B, this can be equal to the log of A base B, right? So if we use this expression, that expression will now reduce to x equal to 4 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 3 log of uh, 2 is the denominator. So that will give us uh, 3 log of 3 base what? Base 2. So if we simplify that, that expression, the value of our S as our final solution will now be equal to 4 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 3 log of 3 base 2. And that is the solution to that expression given to us above there. Now we can check if our solution is actually right. To check and validate if our solution is right, we're going to insert the value of x into that initial expression. So we have the value of h to the power of s equal to 48. h to the power of s equal to 48, and we are asked to find the value of x now if x is equal to this value and we insert it there we're going to have this to become h to the power of 4 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 3 log of 3 base 2 will this be equal to 48 let's find out if we simplify that this is going to give us the value of this is going to give us the value of 8 to the power of 4 divided by 3 plus if i simplify this i have 1 divided by 3 multiplied by 3 log 2 right and this would be equal to 48 now actually following this this is going to clear up this and then we'll have the value of uh that to give us 8 to the power of 4 divided by 3 plus log 2 and this would be equal to 48. Can this give us 48? Let's simplify further. If we simplify further, recall this natural law of indices that if you have a to the power of x plus y this can be equal to a to the power of x, right? Multiply a to the power of y. So if we apply it over here, we're going to have that expression to give us a to the power of 4 divided by 3 
multiply by h to the power of log of 2 will it give us 48 let's find out we will simplify that it can give us 2 to the power of 3 multiplying 4 divided by 3 right and this will be multiplying 2 to the power of 3 multiplying log to the power of log 2 will it give us the solution we desire 48 let's simplify losing the law of uh, indices uh, we are going to see that this index will have to multiply this to clear off this and then we'll have 2 to the power of 4 remaining there multiplying 2 to the power of the powers will multiply 3 log what log 2 and this would be equal to 48 now if we simplify that we're going to have 2 to the power of 4 is 16 multiplying this is going to give us 2 to the power of log of 3 base 2 right will it give us 48 let's find out Remember one law of log of logarithm that if you have uh, uh, x log of y base x that this base can clear off this base and our value will be equal to our result will be y. So if I apply that over here, I'm going to have that expression to now give me 16 multiplying the base will clear off this multiplying 3 and this will be will leave the equal to 48 sure it will 16 times 3 is what is 48 so 48 is equal to 48 so that tells us that the value of x equal to 4 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 3 log of 3 base 2 is the rightful solution for that expression given to us up here. You see, very easy. I know if you did enjoy watching this math solution, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified math content. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.